So in front of me here, we have the Yushin Little Magic square one and the Xmand Vault V2M square one. So in this video, we're gonna be comparing and contrasting these two cubes and to see if you really wanna get a nice square one, which one you should get. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so we're gonna be judging these two cubes in three different categories. Now, any of the veterans on my channel know that when I do cube comparisons, I judge them by three different categories. The first category is the performance of the cube. The second category is the feel of the cube. And the third category is how it affects my time. So in other words, which one gives me the best times. And in each category, we give each cube a score out of 10, and at the end of the video, we add all of those points together, and whoever has the highest points will end up winning. So we will start with the feel of the Yushin Little Magic square one. So overall, this cube is really smooth and really buttery, which makes it really fun to solve on. And this is one of those cubes that you can just sit down and do casual solves, just because of how nice it is to churn and you can kind of get a good sense of how it feels by just listening to it actually. So I'll give you a quick listen here. The thing is just pretty buttery smooth all the way through and that's pretty well reflected in the sound. So if I had to give this cube a score out of 10 in the field category, I would definitely give it a 10 because I really can't think of anything that I don't like about the feel of this cube. So now on to the feel of the X-Man Volt V2M square one. So overall, this cube isn't super smooth with the exception of the slash layer. The slash layer is really smooth and you can kind of hear that. There's not really too much resistance, which is really nice. But on the contrary, this top and bottom layer, and you can also hear it reflected in the sound, are both really crunchy and have a lot of friction. And to be fair, this is constant with most square ones before you set them up. But that being said, I have set up both of these cubes to my liking, and this is really as good as I could get it. So overall for the feel, I would probably give this, uh, let's say an eight out of 10, just for that one top and bottom layer problem. Now just a disclaimer before we move into the performance category of this video, I would just like to point out that I am really not that good at square one. Any people who are around my channel a lot know that I am trying to get better at it, but I'm certainly not that good at it right now. So when I'm evaluating the performance of these two cubes, for anybody who's really good at square one, I do apologize if like what I tell you doesn't necessarily explain what you would want to know about the cube. So I'll try my best. So now that being said, we will do the performance of the Yushin Little Magic Square One. So I'm not really sure how you're supposed to evaluate corner cutting on a Square One, considering that it either kind of turns or it doesn't. But I guess if I had to kind of explain to you what I can feel, is that if you put it like halfway, it usually turns in one of the given directions. And when you're speed turning, you kind of feel like you have nice rounded edges that kind of just slide into place. So I guess I'm not totally sure how to evaluate the performance of this cube, but overall I think for corner cutting and managing lockups, nothing really bad ever happens. So I don't think that the Yushin Little Magic will ever give you any problems that would prevent you from getting better times. So that being said, I'll give this cube, let's say a nine out of 10. So now on to the performance of the Volt. So there's really not too much that's different about this cube to the Yushin Little Magic. There's just two things that I would definitely want to point out though. First of all is that the turning speed of this cube is way faster than that of the Yushin Little Magic, meaning that there's a lot less resistance and you can kind of flow along faster. But that rolls us right into our second problem with the performance is that because of its kind of speed, it's rather uncontrollable, which don't get me wrong, the magnets do help, but it doesn't totally cover up the problem. And the problem is that this cube locks up like a lot. Um, and I'm by no means not that good at square one, as I said earlier, but this cube does have a tendency to kind of have a little bit of resistance between when you're aligning your layers and stuff, you, you get a good amount of lockups. Um, so, ju so just keep that in mind, I guess, if you ever decide to purchase this cube. So overall, I'd probably give it around a seven out of 10 in the performance category. Now, one other thing that should be noted about these cubes that I guess I'm not totally sure what category to put it into, so I'll just throw it on to the end of the performance area, is that for whatever reason, the orientation of the colors on these cubes are different. 
So if you see here, white on top, and then you have blue, and orange is to the right of blue. However, on the Yushin Little Magic, if you have white on top and blue in the same spot, red is to the right of blue and orange is to the left of blue. So there is a chance that this is just like, for lack of a better way to put it, like a misprint or like they just made the puzzle or stickered it wrong. I know next to nothing about square one, so I'm not even sure which one is right or if they're both right or if they're both wrong or something. Um, so if there are any experts on square one that would be willing to help me out in the comments or maybe let me know what's up with this, um, it's even something as simple as just I have no idea what's th what's wrong with your cubes here. Um, but yeah, if any of you guys know anything about that, just let me know. Okay, now on to the last category, which is how these cubes affect my times. So what I'm gonna do is, because I'm not that good at square one, we're just gonna do five solves on each of these, um, just in the effort of making sure this doesn't take like an hour, just because of how bad I am at square one. Um, so we're gonna do five solves on each of these and average them together and see which cube comes out on top. So let's get into it. All right, so I'll start out by doing an average of five on the X-Man Volt, and after that we'll do an average of five on the Yushin Little Magic. So let's get started. Okay, so we just finished our first average of five on the Volt V2M there, and our official average of five was one minute 0.51, which for me is actually a very good square one average, and featuring that very last solve there, not that it was included in the average of five, but we got a 48.76, which is my second best square one solve ever, I believe. Um, so yeah, that was a pretty good average, and now we will get on to the Yushin Little Magic square one. Okay, so we just finished our average of five on the Yushin Little Magic Square One, and our official average of five for that was one minute, two seconds, 0.58, which more or less is about two seconds worse than the X-Man Volt, which frankly, at my skill level for Square One, which if you haven't noticed by my times, is pretty low. I don't really think that that's enough to declare a winner by. If it was something, say, five or six seconds, then it probably would be, but that could pretty much uh, just two seconds like that, that could pretty much be anything in any of those solves. So I don't really think I'm gonna declare a winner there, but that being said, since a, around a one minute average of five for both of those cubes is pretty good for me, I do think I'm gonna give both of these cubes a 10 out of 10 in the time category. So after this, we're just gonna go ahead and add up um, all the points and see who won. So in front of me here is a little post-it note that has all of the details. So for the Yushin Little Magic, we had a feel of 10, a performance of 9, and a times of 10, which totals up to 29, which is almost a perfect score. And then for the Volt V2M, we have a feel of 8, performance of 7, and a times of 10, which adds up to 25. So by the numbers, the Yushin Little Magic is our winner. 
Now that being said, if you're somebody at around my skill level on square one, which is around a minute um, to a minute and 20 seconds, average of five, um, I do believe that both of these cubes will suit you very well, um, even as a beginner like I am, and if you choose to go further with the event, even beyond that, I do believe that both of these cubes will be great for you. Um, and I just want to remind you guys of one more thing that I have to say. Once again, if any of you know what is up with the color scheme thing that's going on here where like the orientation is weird, um, do let me know in the comments because I'm curious to know if that's just like um, between brands it's different or something um, because I know next to nothing about square one. Um, so if any of you guys know anything about that, um, do let me know and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.